Hey guys, what's up? This is Blake with SmartHomeSD.com. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to convert your older 909 and 911 quick set locks into the newer 910 Home Connect model. Um, why would you do this? Well, a lot of people have these already in their homes. Um, so why would you buy a whole complete new lock when you can just put a chip in here and make it Z-Wave compatible? So once you put the chip in here, you can connect it to your 2 gig system, uh, Vera Lite, um, Vera 3, whatever you want to do, and you'll have the Home Connect feature, uh, which allows you to run scenes, um, disengage your alarm panel. Um, so this is, this is the cost-effective way of doing that. Um, you'll see that this is the 909 model that I have here, and I'll just be putting the chip in it, and we'll, we'll make it the 910 model. So today I'm going to show you how to install one of these on a door, and then uh, go ahead and put the Z-Wave chip in there, and then it will be up to you to set it up to your Verilite or, or 2 gig system. All right, so we're gonna put, this is my original handle right here, and we're gonna put the lock just a little bit higher. Um, you can kind of see, let's see if we can focus in right here. You can kind of see my setup, and we're just gonna go just a little higher here and um, put the lock on there. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to do this. Um, they sell kits at Home Depot. Um, this, this is not a bad uh, little setup. This is only about 10, 15 bucks. Um, the problem with this one is it, it, it'll rub on your door. Um, so I, I really prefer to use this one or just the template that they give you. Um, and again, I, I, I would rather use this over the template. But um, this is great for new doors, brand new doors that you're going to paint. Um, but this is a great template as well. So let me go ahead and get started. I'm going to fast forward a little bit through this process just because there's a lot of stuff on YouTube already. Um, but for the main, most part, you're just going to put this on here, drill it in, and then go ahead and drill, drill your hole through there. All right, so I just installed, uh, I didn't install it, but I put our template on here. Um, you can see I drilled it in. That way it's secure. This is uh, my go-to template. Um, if you guys are in the San Diego area, uh, we charge $45 to come in and, and install these. Um, or you can just you know watch this video and, and try to do it yourself. But if you don't feel comfortable, please stop. Um, if you're on the other side of the world, uh, go ahead and, and hire someone to do this. See, I got my hole now. Um, Again, this is my template. We're going to put one more hole right down the center. Um, you can kind of see it kind of splintered. I'm not too worried about this because the lock is going to cover all that. Um, this is an older door, so that, I mean that's something that, that can happen. Um, but again, don't worry about that too much if that's what happened to you. Alright, so the next step after we drill our hole is to go ahead and put the bolt um, in the slot and uh, you can see that there's an up here. Um, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. The very first time I ever installed one of these things, I put it upside down and it took me literally about a half an hour to figure it out. So definitely make sure um, that is up. It's, it's essential to this thing working. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install this by drilling two holes in and then um, I'm gonna chisel this out um, so it's flush. All right, guys. So you see, I have my deadbolt. Um, it's intact. I have it uh, flush with the door. I have it fully extended just for demonstration purposes. But what I like to do is take the center uh, point, choose a, a point of reference, and for this one, I'm going to choose um, the lower handle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from the center of the lower handle to the center of the deadbolt, and I'm right at about eight and a quarter. So what I'm going to do is come over to the door, and what we're going to do next is drill into the other wall. That way the deadbolt can go all the way in. So I'm going to measure from here um, about eight and a quarter on the inside of the wall, and I'm going to mark it, and I'm going to drill about an inch into the wall. That way the deadbolt can fully extend. All right, guys, so I uh, went ahead and drilled into the door frame. Um, this is a pretty important part because you want to make sure that this the bolt uh, moves in back and forth uh, fluently. Uh, make sure it doesn't stick anywhere. Uh, one way you can do that is uh, use the, the key 
um, and stick it in the bolt, kind of like a puzzle, and go ahead and turn back and forth. Um, this is going to tell you if it's sticking anywhere. Um, if it is, these locks are battery powered, it's going to kill your battery. So this is a pretty important step, make sure you take care of this. Alright guys, so that was the hard part of this whole door process. Um, the following part, next steps is just following basic instructions from the manual. Um, I'm just going to fast forward through this, these couple steps because um, they, are, they are really basic. All right, guys. So I installed my uh, my 909 uh, lock, deadbolt lock. Um, you can see it has good range of motion, no sticky points. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you is the Z-Wave chip. Um, this guy you can only get on Amazon or eBay. Um, I do sell it in my uh, eBay store and Amazon store, but you can't get it from the manufacturer for whatever reason. Um, they're not selling them directly to the public. Um, so what you do is you just take out the dust cover, slide the chip in, and now you have a 910 uh, lock, um, which is about $230. So you just save some money if you already have these locks, which is really nice. Um, the next thing I like is the Amazon Basic batteries. Uh, I don't sell these. Um, I don't work for Amazon, but I really do like how cheap these are and they are rechargeable. Um, these locks, they, I mean, they're efficient, but they do burn through batteries. Um, about two months or so, um, I've heard reports of a little bit longer um, and then a little bit shorter. So it, you know, it just depends on your usage of the lock. Um, but we're just gonna go ahead and drop this in there. You can see I got my lights going. Uh, it's booting up for the first time. And there you have it. We'll put the cover on there. And you can go ahead and set this up. I'll have other videos on how to program these. I do have one already on how to set this up with the Vera light. Um, the instructions will take you through the rest. I just wanted to show you the, the basics of how you can really change these um, to the 910. I've had a lot of questions lately on, well, can I do these to my locks at home? And, and the answer is yes, you can. Um, and like I said, you know, battery pack, Z-Wave chip, and there you have it. You guys have any questions, um, leave them on my YouTube. I will uh, get to them or, or email them to me, and uh, I will try to get to them as soon as possible. Uh, thanks for watching.